Somewhere around the corner and many families working on plans to complete their dream backyards with a pool. Unfortunately, our case that investigates team is uncovering what some are calling a scamming pool contractor. Lee Waldman introduces us to two families who spent hundreds of thousands of dollars for work that was never finished. We both had a really, really good feeling upon our first impression of meeting Caleb. Dave and Kim Clausen's home with their two boys is picturesque. The backyard, breathtaking, aside from the hole in the ground. How much money have you paid Caleb for this project? About $126,000 altogether. The Clausens shared their pool design, their contract, and copies of checks paid to Caleb Jenkins Pool Company, Aquazul Custom Pools. The project was signed for by Jenkins in September 2022. Kim Clausen says work started in February 2023 and was supposed to take three months to complete. To spend that amount of money and then looking at this unfinished work, how does that make you feel? It's nauseating. That wasn't right either. It's a problem Gina Villanueva and her husband Joey sympathize with. They're also Aquazul customers. These crack clear down the middle. While their pool looks good compared to the Clausens, they're finding problem after problem with work not done properly. So none of the rock that was um, installed here was sealed at all. Their project was much larger. Not only a pool, but a casita, a grotto, landscaping and fencing, all totaling $223,000. Both couples said they tried to get Jenkins to complete the work or give back their money. On October 5th, 2023, they each received this. A bankruptcy letter. I texted Caleb one more time and I just said, please, you know, we've been through, like, don't do this to our family. Like, I asked him, please provide the petition from your attorney. Still, we have yet to receive that. KSAT investigates found no record of bankruptcy ever filed. But we did uncover more about Caleb Jenkins, the man behind Aquazul Custom Pools. Jenkins and his company are named as defendants in a lawsuit out of New York's Supreme Court. A judge ruled in December of last year Jenkins must pay a sum of over $93,000 to BHB Funding, a financial company that supplies loans to businesses. Meanwhile, in Bear County, Jenkins and his company are named as defendants in a lawsuit filed by Israel Ventures LLC. This one from October 2023. In it, Itria, a financial consulting company, is seeking $250,000 in damages for money loaned but not paid back. Last month, a judge issued a default judgment, siding with Itria. Also in Bear County, Jenkins' business spending was in question in arbitration with his ex-partner over their child. It states, quote, Many of the withdrawals from the business account, which were all claimed as business expenses by father, were excluded by the arbitrator as inappropriate, not ordinary, and necessary expenses required to produce the income. The paperwork details expenses like trips to Mexico with Jenkins' girlfriend, jewelry, restaurants, clothing, and medical expenses from the business account. We stopped by the address listed for Aquazul Custom Pools online, but the building was vacant. Our calls... Hi, this is Lee Waldman with KSAT. I was calling to speak with Caleb Jenkins about his company, Aquazul Custom Pools. Emails, text, and direct messages on social media to Jenkins have not been returned. Both families we spoke with about their pools are now aware of Jenkins' background. They've lost faith. They'll recoup what was lost. We just really don't want this to continue to happen. More for awareness, I guess. It's just bringing Caleb to justice and not allowing him to do this to anyone else in the future, because my gut tells me he will over and over and over again. For Case Investigates, I'm Lee Waldman.